Good morning, SRU, and welcome to the first episode of our new weekly morning program titled Just That. Good morning, SRU. And I'm Aaron Swagger. And I'm Avery Klegling. On our program, we will inform you of upcoming events both here at SRU and in the surrounding communities. That's right, Aaron. From time to time, we will also share recipes, fashion tips, holiday gift ideas, and each week I will conduct an interview with a different fascinating person. Now grab your coffee, eat some breakfast, and join us for Good Morning SRU. Introducing Domino's new leftovers. It's the same delicious pizza you expect from Domino's, but instead of eating it all tonight, you save some for tomorrow. Sure, it's hot and melty and really delicious, but resist the temptation and you have Domino's leftovers. Domino's leftovers are delicious straight from the toaster oven. They're delicious straight from the skillet. Who eats cold pizza? Right now, you can try Domino's leftovers yourself when you get two medium, two topping pizzas for $6.99 each. Enjoy one tonight, love one tomorrow. Welcome back. The SRU Marching Band is hosting a hypnosis comedy show on November 15th. That sounds like fun. The event is open for all students and 100% of the proceeds will go to help the marching band. They put so much hard work into what they do and they can count on our support. If you enjoy musicals and would like to come to support fellow SRU students from the theater department, be sure to check out Head Over Heels. It's a show by James Magruder and Jeff Whitty. It follows the lives of a royal family who must save their kingdom. It's a story about love and this family's fun journey of self-reflection. There is laughs, love, and lots of heart. The play is directed by David Skeel. Wait, is this play about the royal family? <laughs> no, no, but I think we can both agree that it's a family that needs some self-reflection. The SRU Theater Department just about finished up its run of Pride and Prejudice, which ran from October 14th to the 16th. The show is by Kate Hamilton, based on the novel by Jane Austen, and was directed by Laura Smiley. According to the theater department, this Pride and Prejudice was for a, a new era and isn't your grandma's Austen. Won't we be talking with one of the actors later in the show? That's right, Aaron. We'll have a, Joe Ganchuk with us to talk about his role in the play. I'm looking forward to that. I also saw that Musical Theater Society is hosting another cabaret this semester. Aaron, would you sh mind sharing a little bit about that production? Yeah, of course. So MTS will be performing the From the Cinema to Stage Cabaret. This cabaret will feature hit songs from different movie musicals. The show will be held in the Swope Music Hall on November 11th and 12th at 7.30 p.m. Tickets will be available at SRU website and at the door. Thank you, Aaron. Now let's check out what's going on in the local news. Locally, Slippery Rock Community Library is hosting a spaghetti dinner on November 5th. The dinner will take place at the Slippery Rock Township building from 4 to 7. Spaghetti is one of your favorites, isn't it, Avery? You know me too well. I could eat spaghetti every night. Well, there you have it, folks. If you attend the spaghetti dinner, you might just run into Avery. For those interested, the Slippery Rock Township building is located at 159 Branchton Road, Slippery Rock, PA. In a moment, we're going to bring you the latest in movie releases, both in theaters and on streaming. Introducing Domino's new leftovers. It's the same delicious pizza you expect from Domino's, but instead of eating it all tonight, you save some for tomorrow. Sure, it's hot and melty and really delicious, but resist the temptation and you have Domino's leftovers. Domino's leftovers are delicious straight from the toaster oven. They're delicious straight from the skillet. Who eats cold pizza? Right now, you can try Domino's leftovers yourself when you get two medium, two topping pizzas for $6.99 each. Enjoy one tonight, love one tomorrow. In theaters, Black Adam took the DC film Scape by Storm on October 21st. The film stars Dwayne The Rock Johnson as the titular character Black Adam. After being in prison for 5,000 years, Black Adam is freed from his tomb and sets out to deliver his own form of justice upon the world. Tickets are on sale now at your local theater. In streaming, Don't Worry Darling hit Amazon Prime on October 25th. The film stars Florence Pugh, Harry Styles, and Olivia Wilde. Alice and Jack live in a private community called Victory, where Jack and the rest of the men who live there within this 1950s idealized town work for Top Secret Victory Project. Alice and the other wives live a life of luxury and beauty, but as with all small towns, botchery lurks beneath the surface. Victory takes care of all its residents' needs and in return asks for their unquestioning commitment. 
Soon Alice starts to fall apart as she begins questioning what she and Jack are really doing in Victory and what's really going on with their Victory project. If you have any film recommendations you'd like to make on our program, please email James Cressman at jec1017 at sru.edu. In a moment, we will sit down with Joe Ganchuk and talk with him about his role in Pride and Prejudice. Introducing Domino's new leftovers. It's the same delicious pizza you expect from Domino's, but instead of eating it all tonight, you save some for tomorrow. Sure, it's hot and melty and really delicious, but resist the temptation and you have Domino's leftovers. Domino's leftovers are delicious straight from the toaster oven. They're delicious straight from the skillet. Who eats cold pizza? Right now, you can try Domino's leftovers yourself and you get two medium, two topping pizzas for $6.99 each. Enjoy one tonight, love one tomorrow. Welcome back. Today we're joined by Joey Ganchuk, who recently starred in Pride and Prejudice. Thanks for being here, Joey. Of course, thank you for having me. I'm so happy to be here. So, can you tell us a little bit about the play? Well, Pride and Prejudice is, this is actually a more of a comedic take on the original Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. This version was written and adapted by Kate Hamill. And a lot of the themes of the show involve uh, love and marriage and pride, vanity, uh, shame, and just how we all really want to just be loved ourselves. Amazing. Before auditioning for the part of Mr. Bingley and Mary Bennett, had you read the book, to, the book of the play that it's based on? I haven't, actually. This was the first time I had the chance to actually read it. I've heard about it before. I didn't realize there were so many different versions, um, but this was my first time with, with the piece itself. Awesome. Um, when did you first become interested in acting? I actually always wanted to be an actor ever since I was a kid. I didn't really start doing it until I was about 15. I did a few shows here and there, and then I found a theater school near my hometown and I started doing summer camp stuff there, and it just went so on and so on, and I just never stopped. If any SRU productions you acted in prior to the show? Yes, I have been in a few uh, directing class performances, but my other main stage shows are Chad from Techies. Um, that was a year ago, last fall, and last spring I was in uh, The Prince of Pericles. I hear you've been nominated for the Irene Ryan Scholarship. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Um, I'm really honored to be, to be nominated for that. Um, it is out of town. It's part of the ACTF conference. Um, it's out of 250 students, I believe, something like that. Uh, and I, I will find out today if our show gets picked up to, to, be, to be invited to the conference and everything. That'll hopefully be a great accomplishment that you guys can get. Uh, yes, thank you. Um, what does getting that nomination mean to you, and how did it feel? It felt amazing. Like I said, I'm so honored. It was so validating. It felt like a lot of my passion and hard work is not only being recognized, but, and, but also paying off in a way, too. And then any upcoming shows that you plan to audition for? I am auditioning for Hand to God and Susical, the musical. Um, those will both be next semester, in the spring. That's awesome. If you could offer some advice to people who are interested in acting but are nervous to pursue it, what would that be? Um, just go for it. You, you just have to trust yourself. Eventually the nerves will go away. It won't be so hard. Um, there's hardly any wrong answer. A lot of your choices can be up to interpretation. There's a lot more freedom to theater and expression and finding yourself than meets the eye. I think that this is for sure, you've got the, quite the future ahead of you in bit show business. Thank you for joining us here today, Joey, and we hope that you have you back again in the studio. Thank you, I hope to be back. Thank you for having me. After this commercial break, we'll be back with more news. Introducing Domino's new leftovers. It's the same delicious pizza you expect from Domino's, but instead of eating it all tonight, you save some for tomorrow. Sure, it's hot and melty and really delicious, but resist the temptation and you have Domino's leftovers. Domino's leftovers are delicious straight from the toaster oven. They're delicious straight from the skillet. Who eats cold pizza? Right now, you can try Domino's leftovers yourself and you get two medium, two topping pizzas for $6.99 each. Enjoy one tonight, love one tomorrow. I really enjoyed that. 
Yeah, it was a real pleasure getting to talk with him. He'll definitely have to come back again soon. Well, next we have a real treat, everyone. Trevor Mann, who, as many of you know, hosts our review show, Real Reviews, got to talk with former SU alumnus Brad Gentile while he visited campus on November 4th. But first, here is the update on SAU sports. Rock football faced off against Clarion on Saturday, October 29th at Clarion University. They won with a score of 31-0, now with a record of 8 wins and 1 loss. Their next game will be on Saturday, November 5th at 1 p.m. against Edinburgh University in Slippery Rock. Men's soccer faced off against Mercyhurst on Saturday, October 29th at Slippery Rock. They lost with a score of 4-0, ending their season with a record of 5 wins, 10 losses, and 2 ties. Women's soccer faced off against Mercyhurst on Tuesday, November 1st at Mercyhurst University. The women's team lost with a score of 0-1, ending their season with a record of 7 wins, 4 losses, and 8 ties. Women's field hockey faced off against IUP Wednesday, November 2nd at Slippery Rock. They lost with a score of 0-3, now with a record of 7 wins and 8 losses. Their next game will be Sunday, November 6th at 11am against Kutztown University in Slippery Rock. Women's volleyball faced off against Salem University Tuesday, November 1st at Slippery Rock. They won with a score of 3-0, now with a record of 12 wins and 16 losses. Their next game will be Thursday, November 4th at 7pm against Cal U in Slippery Rock. That's all for your SRU Sports this week. Now the Trevor Man with his interview with Brad Gentile. Good morning and thanks for joining us everyone. I'm Trevor Mann and today we have the honor of sitting down with Brad Gentile, an SRU alumnus who has joined us this morning to speak about his career and advice he can give the current SRU students. Brad, thanks for being here. Ah, oh, thank you for having me. It's great to be back at The Rock. It is. It's great. So to kind of start us off, what was your purpose to go into video as a career? When I was in junior high, I was watching a football game on television, saw somebody were operating a camera on the sideline, mm -hmm. thought something I wanted to do. So I researched what I needed to do education. I knew I had a four-year degree and I wanted to see what kind of career advancement there was in that opportunity and what kind of money I would make. And so that's what I pursued since seventh grade and it had always been my dream since seventh grade. So I continued to do that. That's great. What was it like at Slippery Rock when you were here? Hmm. Um, with the video program? The video program when I was here was just a small little studio in the bottom of the library with a control room. We only had a black psych as, as our backdrop. Um, we did not have access to a lot of cameras to take out into the field. And it was under the, a different umbrella, it was just a Bachelor of Science degree in communication. So it was not specialized like you have now with the strategic communication and media. Mm -hmm. So you guys have a lot more opportunities here today than we did when I was here. We definitely do. So tell us about the earliest, when you, start, when you first started in your career, how it was kind of building the, por the portfolio and getting your name out there. Yeah, I mean, I, I wanted to work in broadcasting, so I had to get into television. So mm -hmm. uh, at the time, you know, I, I'd sent out over 200 emails, or I'm sorry, letters to TV stations across the country, rejection after rejection. It took me a year and a half to, to finally land that first job. And it was in uh, the time we had 212 markets in, in, in the country. I was in 197. Oh, so wow. a very small TV station. Yeah. Uh, so it was really working uh, long hours for very little money. Um, and then you just advance your career from there. And it's really about the networking of the people you meet. Yeah. What has the career led up to? Like starting as a college student and then being able to work with famous artists and different sports teams. Where does that bring you to as a person? Well, you know, we were t talking earlier, I never would have, somebody would have said my career was going to include all this, I never would have believed that that would have happened. But right. it, it, you make your own opportunities and you network and you find opportunities where you're going to be able to advance in your career. Um, I've enjoyed every step along the way, even some of the very tough uh, obstacles that I've faced. Mm -hmm. uh, but yes, I've done almost every major sport, collegiate, professional, uh, entertainment industry, uh, corporate work, uh, and I've recently just uh, let my business go. I've been there 12 years at my own business. Wow. We traveled the world uh, doing all types of uh, production from corporations to military to education to safety. And so now I'm, I've kind of parlayed that whole career and I'm now an internal communication manager for uh, Thermo Fisher Scientific. So I've, I've been able to take 
my video work, my writing work, my producing work, and all my communication skills kind of balled that all up and now working for a global company. So it's been, it's been an awesome, awesome journey. That's impressive. So kind of going off of that, who is your favorite client to work with? Oh, well, it, you know, I, I, when I speak to people, I try to tell them it's not always about getting paid. <laughs> um, so even though I've worked for them, I did 22 years with them uh, freelance, and it was all volunteer work. So it was for a foundation in Louisiana called Dream Day Foundation. And uh, all of our work uh, was for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital in Memphis, Tennessee. So even though I never got paid for it, uh, I got a lot in return mm -hmm. uh, from the relationships I've met, the families. So it's not always about making money. Um, if you want to call them a client, they can be a client. But to me, they're, they're a real special client for me. That's great. What are some influences that want you to become more, of, more in the digital media production area as well as producing? Huh, influences. Well, I've had some good friends that uh, are very passionate about the industry. Um, and, you know, my career has really evolved with the technology. So digital wasn't even a term when I was in college. You know, right. uh, everything was tape to tape. So, you know, I try to tell people in, in this industry, you're, it's, you have to evolve as a person. As, as the technology evolves, you have to evolve. Right. If you don't evolve, you're just going to have to fall off to the wayside and find another career. Yeah. What's got to be your most memorable experience in your career? <laughs> wow, there's a, there's a lot. Um, you know, I, I enjoyed uh, my documentary we did in South Africa, the 10th anniversary of uh, the apartheid, because you have all these inclinations about what it's going to be like when you get there and you hear about the apartheid, and, boy, they couldn't have been more nicer to the people, just very warm people, right? Uh, welcoming. Uh, you know, a white guy walking in what they would call the ghettos of Soweto with a camera. Uh, ten years ago, you wouldn't have thought about it mm -hmm. when, at the apartheid, and, and now they were very welcoming. That's probably my most enjoyable trip, uh, but definitely probably the most fulfilling has been working with the kids and the families of St. Jude, for sure. Wow. And again, going off of that, where is your favorite place that you've been when you traveled? Oh, <laughs> well, I've been to every state in the country except Hawaii. Uh, Germany, wow. France, England, Cuba. Canada. Oh boy, my mo that's a tough one. I, I I enjoyed Cuba. I only we were only allowed to be on the base. I enjoyed Cuba because of what we were doing. Uh, I enjoyed that. When you're working, you don't usually get to see too much. And usually, you see the hotel and wherever you're working, you don't usually get to enjoy too much of the outside atmosphere unless you're uh, unless you take time before the shoot or after the shoot. Right. Uh, but there hasn't been I wouldn't say a true favorite. Um, I really, I just have enjoyed traveling the country and the world, doing what I do, which is, you know, as I said, pretty amazing when you just think you're doing video. Right. What is your fondest memory from <laughs> Slippery Rock University? Uh, well, it's not here any longer, but I would say living in Bard Hall. Uh, you know, lifelong friends. Um, I still communicate with them uh, on a regular. So I would say the friendships that I've made here and you don't realize it, but the people that are in the studio with you are going to become your lifelong friends. You don't realize that right yeah. now. Uh, as you're going through it, you're all struggling. You're all trying to, you know, pass the class. Uh, <laughs> but that will be your most fondest memory. It will be the people that you went through it with. Oh, that's great. And to kind of wrap us up, if you could give any advice to either undergraduates or Slippery Rock students who are currently here, what's something that you could tell them? Uh, be passionate about what you're doing. Stay focused. Uh, always be willing to learn. And uh, don't think that the, you're greater than somebody else. Always stay very humble. Um, and, and make your opportunities. Don't wait for somebody else to give you an opportunity. Make an opportunity for yourself. Absolutely. Final question. Yep. Are you a bigger fan <laughs> of the old Rocky or the new Rocky? Uh, well, you mean, the, you mean the lion? Yeah. Well, definitely the old Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. He's not the prettiest. Yeah. But, but uh, that's what we went through. The yeah. Rock, you know, and it was nice to see at Homecoming. He made a little uh, appearance I saw. He did. Uh, I do like the lion, but I never could understand the correlation between Slippery Rock, the rock, and the lion. But right. I understand Rocky is the name of the lion. But I have to go with the old rock. <laughs> so we'll see if he comes back. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate it's been a pleasure. It. Thank you. Good luck to everybody. We'll be right back. Introducing Domino's new leftovers. It's the same delicious pizza you expect from Domino's, but instead of eating it all tonight, you save some for tomorrow. Sure, it's hot and melty and really delicious, but resist the temptation and 
you have Domino's leftovers. Domino's leftovers are delicious straight from the toaster oven. They're delicious straight from the skillet. Who reheats cold pizza? Mm. Right now, you can try Domino's leftovers yourself and you get two medium, two topping pizzas for $6.99 each. Enjoy one tonight, love one tomorrow. We want to thank Brad again for the equipment he donated to the studio here in Maltby. Yeah, what a way to give back. He seems like a really nice guy who genuinely cares. That's our show, and this is your morning. See you next week on Good Morning SRU. And don't forget to check out my other two shows that will be premiering this week, Real Reviews from the Rock and News According to Yik Yak. We'll see you then.